Okay, right in this area right here with the spikes, have Black Lester go across here and into this warp pipe. If I can actually get in it. There we go. We have we have a spiny here. So we might as well just go ahead and start attacking, I guess. If I can actually get him. Ah, he got me first. Alright, so that's done and done. We got another one of these buttholes right here. And this time I got the first strike. And good news, during that battle right there, I actually leveled up. And we're actually going to upgrade batch points. This is actually very good. I can actually activate the, uh... can actually, uh, activate the, uh... The Mega Smash badge. I'm actually going to take off Power Smash and, uh, do Mega Smash. It, it uses 6 FP, though, but it's actually an upgraded version of the, uh, Power Smash. So I'll show it off later. Let's see, uh, is there something else I want to equip? Uh, I can equip double dip. I don't want to do that. Uh, you know what? Let's actually upgrade. Let's actually put on Power Rush because that's actually a good badge right there. Because, like I said, it'll actually, uh, Mario's in danger here. His attack power goes up by two, so that's good. I know there's another spiny right there. Got him. I guess I'll show off Mega Smash right here. It uses six. Eight, only on a single enemy, though. That's what it does, so. No, actually, oh wow, 10 damage. Wow, that's actually a good, good, uh. No, 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 no. Let's see. Uh, Bombat. Well, I didn't finish him off, but oh well. I'll finish him off this time around. Yeah, that's uh, Mega Smash, folks. It's an upgrade version of the Power Smash, so... A lot more damage this time. But it uses a lot of flower points, so keep that in mind. Six flower points. I have a metal block here. And here, that's just a single coin. And we got Dark Koopas here. Ah, so those guys aren't about worth anymore. The only thing it's good for are these coins. I'm not going to worry about fighting them. Get out of here! Okay, in here we have a trampoline. I can actually... There we go, get up there. Ooh, a big treasure chest! You know what that means! We get another upgrade! You got the Ultra Boots! The attack power of Mario's jump increases. On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump by pressing A again while in the air. So yes, Mario can actually jump really high now. Press A, and A again. He actually reached blocks that are actually really high up, so that's good to know. So we can actually go back to Luigi's house if we want. Go back to the house and deal with Luigi. Get him down. Actually, get out of here. Maybe it's just normal block. Just normal blocks, and uh, yeah. Well, I guess next on the agenda is uh. Some more Chuck Quizmo questions. I'm actually going to do 20 this time, like I said at the, at the last recording session. So, so yeah, I'll be right back, guys. When you want Tasty, who loves cooking to make you a lemon candy, what does what do you have to give her besides a lemon? Uh, I believe that would be cake mix. Yep, that is correct. So, yeah, that's one of the recipes that we have to do when we get to Tasty. Who among the fallen lives in Forever Forest? Uh, let's see, Clev... Oakley. For those of you wondering, I think Oakley is that guy with the beard that told us to turn back and... Told us how to get to Forever Forest, I think that's who he is, so... What are booze exactly? Another uh, ghost. <laughs> Thieves and sheets. Well, they're a ghost. That's what they are, really. Why appears when you hit the whack I living on Mount Rucket? That would be the wackest bump, or just bump, if I says on the thing there. Other than lemons, what fruit drops when you hit a tree in the desert oasis? That would be the lime. Another easy one. Most of these are pretty easy, like I said. I mean, there may be a couple of them that I actually might try to stun you. What is the name of the strange person in Toad Town that can increase Mario's status? That would be Chet Rippo. 
this on it. <laughs> yeah, this on it, and then there's, uh, what's that, Rat Cheapa? Let's hope you ran, we're hoping you run into that guy, though. What ability does Bombette frequently use? Well, that's the only one that makes logical sense that she's a bomb bomb, it'd be bomb. I know she can sing and dance, so I don't know. <laughs> what does Gourmet Guy like? Uh, apparently he likes cake. But the thing he doesn't know about is that he doesn't know that the cake is a lie. I <laughs> had to throw that little joke in there. Who was the second companion to join your team? That would be Cooper. Should be simple enough. Who tried to steal coins from you in the desert? That would be the bandit. Those little guys with masks and the pink robes. I mean, they're kind of red, but they look kind of pink. Alright, ten more questions to go. What is the name of the star spirit who can use Star Storm? That would be Skolar. The okay, L-Star uses Refresh, and Muscular has a uh, Chill Out. So, so keep that in mind. What are addressed to your companions and sent to the post office? Handbills. Paracels. <laughs> That's letters. Handbills. Heh. <laughs> Among the following, which building is not in Toad Town? That would be the Mayor's House, because there's a shop there. I guess it's referring to the item shop. Station, which is a train station. And there's now been mention of a mayor in Toad Town, so Mayor's House would be the most logical choice. What kind of book did Gourmet Guy drop? That would be a cooking book. Who am I? That, <laughs> that's probably the most easiest question ever. That was that's Chuck Quizmo. Huh. What kind of quiz show asks a question like, okay, who am I? And that, it asks a question about who the host is, so. <laughs> Where do I show up? That would be in the jail. You're going, okay, yeah. You know, in the jail. Okay, on the street. It's actually in towns and villages. He actually shows up in Goomba Village, Koopa Village, um, Dry Dry Outpost, and I believe uh, Yoshi's Village as well. What is the name of the plant that grows in Jade Jungle and blows out stars? Blows out stars. Trumpet plant, bell bell. Uh, I want to say the trumpet plant. Yeah, but the bell bell plant does nothing. The herd plant just attacks you. So, the, the trumpet plant, I didn't see, I think I might have, we might have seen those, but I didn't really pay attention to them, so. What color was the leader of Yoshi's Village? That would be green. He was green and fat. Put that, keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, he was green and fat. Should have put that there. What is the name of the elderly man who, te who tells fortunes in Toad Town? That would be Merlon. Okay, Merlo is the, uh, the little kid that trade star star badges in for star well star pieces in for badges I think that one was like more lovely that's the uh that's Marlo's uh, mother so how many colors of Yoshi's did you see in Yoshi Village okay so there's yellow red purple green let's see yellow red purple green uh six yeah there's a six then Alright, so I think that's 50 questions answered. Yep, 50 questions. So we got 14 left for Chuck Quizmo. But that will be done at the end of the next recording session. Now, I don't think I'm going to show this off about how you get to Chuck Quizmo a lot easier. Okay, use these warp pipes here. Let's say he shows up in Goomba Village. Go out of the warp pipe. Go into the next warp pipe over. And then go back in the warp pipe, and then go back in the warp pipe that you came out of when you saw Chuck Quizmo, like maybe here in Goomba Village. Yeah, and he'll reappear most of the time. He'll appear in Goomba Village, Koopa Village, uh, Dry Dry Outpost, and Yoshi's Village. So I thought I should point that out. But we'll finish up Chuck Quizmo in the uh, next recording session. So, But in the meantime, we got some more... 
You guessed it, some more Koopa Koop favors. So we got this time. Well, the young friend. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one thing I have. I have an old boo friend who lives in Gusty Gulch. Can you go get a package from him? You may have a little trouble finding them since the boos there look pretty similar. I'm sure you can do it though. A long time ago, when Goompa, Bootler, and I were traveling, we met the boo and became fast friends. <coughs> he recently sent me a letter saying that there's a package there addressed to me. What are you waiting for? Go and get it. I mean, please? Whoa. Speak to me like that. I won't even go get it. Okay, yeah, I'll fine. I'll go get it. So we're going to go see a boo in Gusty Gulch. And I've got a package for Koopa Coots. So, so that's our... our so that's our destination. Let's see, okay, let's talk to these boos. Hey, Mark. Yeah, okay, this is the boo. What? You seen Paler? Really? Ha! <laughs> okay, that's not you. Hey, has my naughty friend played any spooky tricks on you yet? It'd be a shame to come all the way out to Gusty Gulch and don't get, get messed with. Oh, hello. You're running an errand for old Koopa Coot, are you? Uh-oh. Now, where did I... I wasn't really ready for this. Where did I leave that thing? I better go look for it. Um, do you think you can wait here for just a second? I should find it soon enough, so why don't you just kill some time and wander around here? So, this boo's gotta go find the package, even though it's just standing there. I think it's gonna go off screen and then back, uh... onto the other screen. And I thought I lost some HP whenever I was fighting that, uh... I ran into a Paragoomba. Okay. Thank you for waiting. I finally found it. I can't believe it took me so long to track it down. Anyway, please give my regards to Koopa Koop, okay? And take care. You got the package. A package received from a boo, delivered to Koopa Koop. Hmm, I wonder what's in that package. Well, let's get this thing back to Koopa Koop and find out. Alright, here's your package. Live with Lava Piranhas. You rule, Mario! Ah, uh, yes, this is that package I requested. Ever since my boo friend sent me that letter, I've been dying to know what's inside. Well, I'll find out right now, after you leave. Aw, oh, man, why can't you just tell me what it is? Huh, I wonder what could be in that package. Could be, uh, maybe he's uh, a jewel thief. He steals jewels. Or maybe he's a serial maniac that keeps his victim's separate heads in a box. Or maybe an embarrassing snapshot from Mario, of Mario from the Christmas party. Ah, okay. Now it could be his Playboy magazines. I don't know. And one coin as usual. Well, it should be more than that if it's gonna be Playboy magazines in that damn box. I don't know what's in there. All right, here we go. People keep talking about something called a coconut. They say they're delicious. I just have to try one. Go right away if you can. Promise to hurry back. Okay, next we need to go get a coconut, which we'll basically have to go to Lava Lava Island to get. Let me make sure I have enough island space. Five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, I have enough. Uh, I sold all my coconuts back back in the uh, so so all my coconuts. But anyways, you can go back to Lava Lava Island and hit any tree that you can to get a coconut. So that's how that works. So I'll be right back after I get a coconut. Here's your coconut, buddy. Great Cone Cliffs, you're larger than life, Mario. Hmm, how do you crack this thing? Ah, well, I guess I'll try it later. I'll give you this to show you my gratitude. And yeah, it's, of course, one coin. And another favor, actually. I want to get one of those red jars that they say were made in Dry Dry Desert's ancient desert kingdom. According to popular opinion, you can get one if you buy things in a certain order at the shop in Dry Dry Outpost. First, you buy a dusty hammer, then you get a, go ahead and get a dry pasta, then er, you get another dusty hammer, and then, let me see, hang on, I forgot the other thing. Ah, well you have to figure out the rest. Aw oh, man. <coughs> Let's see here. Okay, I forgot how that thing goes in order. Okay, let's see. Dry pasta, dusty hammer. Hmm, I don't know what the order is. It's dry pasta, dusty hammer, and something else. I don't know if it's two things or three things. I'm not for sure. 
need to try to figure that out. Let's see. Okay, dry pasta, and then a dusty hammer. Uh, shoot. What was the other one? I, I figured this was going to be trouble. I'm just going to sell these things right here. I'm going to sell some more atoms here. Let's see, uh, I, or not. I, I'm gonna hang on to those though, so. Hang on for this tomorrow. I'm gonna figure out how this, what this combo is, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what the uh, so that's what the uh, order you got by then. You got by dusty hammer, dry pasta, dusty hammer, and then a dried shroom. That's the four items you need to buy to get the red jar. What? Oh, buying goods in that order is a secret sign. It was written in an ancient will. In keeping with the will, I'm required to give you this. Please take it. And it's the red jar, a jar, a jar at a little mouser shop, a collector's item perhaps. That's probably what it is. But anyways, let's go ahead and sell off these items here, and then I'll meet you guys back at Koopa Coots. Okay, here's the red jar. Super Sky Guys, you're a true workhorse, Mario. Incredible, outstanding. Ew, it's a little fiffy, though. I suppose I'll add it to my collection anyway. You're a stand-up guy for doing that old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Okay, and it's three star pieces. And and that's it for the favorites right now. After chapter seven, will it'll actually be some more it will be the final favors, so I'm actually gonna end this recording right here, but I'm not gonna end the session just yet. I'm actually gonna stop the recording right here, like I said, and then I'm actually gonna get ready to do some uh, recipes so that's gonna be in a separate recording, so I'll see you guys either here in a minute or in the next video or uh, or whatever, so uh, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and let's go ahead and make some recipes. All right, all right. So let me get my pencil. Okay, so first up, we're gonna give her. We actually get in front of her. We're actually gonna give her a goom nut and a cake mix. Okay, and this will give us another big cookie, so that's what that is. Okay, next up, if you give her, okay, cake mix, and a coconut, you'll get the Cocoa Pop, which stores three, which, uh, made, th it stores three HP and 15 FP. This pencil's not working out. I'm trying to mark, mark it down here. Okay, so next up, we're going to give her a goom nut and a Koopa leaf. And it gives us that bland meal, another bland meal. Okay, next, we're going to give her a cake mix and a lemon. It'll give us the lemon candy. Restore uh, restores five HP and fifteen FP. Okay, so next up, we're gonna give her a cake mix and a lime. And it's the lime candy. It's actually, a little bit better than lemon candy because this one restores twenty FP. But it's a good healing now. Okay, next we're just gonna. We're just going to give her a dried shroom, just a plain old dried shroom. It'll give us the fried shroom, a snack made by Tasty, restores 6 HP and 2 FP. Okay, next we're going to give her a cake mix and a fire flower. 
It'll give us a fire pop, a hot lollipop made by Tasty, which does 20 FP, but it uses 1 HP when, it, when you use it. I mean, it's a good H FP healing item, but keep in mind that you'll, it'll take 1 HP away from you, so that's the bad thing about it. Kinda sucks, yeah. But what are you gonna do about it? Alright, so we're gonna give her a mushroom. And a dried shroom. And it'll give us the f another fried shroom, so. Okay, next is a fire flower. And another dried shroom. And give us yet another fried shroom. Alrighty, guys, uh, next up. Um, let's give her just a vote. We're gonna give her a vote shroom. Just a vote shroom. And it will give us a hot shroom. Restores 15 HP and 5 FP. Okay, next is a mushroom. And a fire flower. Give us yet another hot shroom. Okay, next is a mushroom. And a super shroom. And another hot shroom. Okay, so next we are going to give her a cake mix. And a and maple syrup. It'll give us a cookie cookie. Okay, well, I tried this before and it failed miserably, but I'm going to hope and pray that now that she has a cookbook, I'm going to give her a wackus bump. See, it's supposed to make something here. No, 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 no. Okay, hang on, try that again. And, okay, whack his bump. Alright! Okay, so this is the Yummy Meal. A really good item. It stores 20 HP and 20 FP. I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. For sure. Okay, so next up, we're going to give her a Volt sh Shroom. And a mushroom. Okay, and this will give us yet another hot shroom. Alright guys, next up on the agenda. I uh, actually took I actually stopped the recording for a little while and actually took me a little break, so So yeah, um next up we're going to give her a maple syrup and a super shroom. This will give us a maple su maple su maple super if I can get it right. It stores 10 HP and 10 FP, so it's a pretty good item. Okay, next we're gonna give her a Koopa leaf and a su another super shroom and a super shroom. This will give us a life shroom. Yeah, so it'll give us a life shroom. So that's nice. Okay, next is a Koopa Leaf, and I think, I, yep, I do, Koopa Leaf and a Volt Shroom. This will give us yet another Laugh Shroom, so these Laugh Shrooms will come in handy, especially when you, uh, you know, we all see how handy these Laugh Shrooms can be, so. Alright, next up, um, we are going to give her a Laugh Shroom. And a mushroom. And it gives me we get the shroom steak, which stores 30 HP and 10 FP. Okay, next up on the next up, we're gonna give her a live shroom and a dried shroom. This will give us yet another shroom steak. Okay, guys, next is we're gonna give her a honey syrup and a Koopa leaf. This will give us a, another Super Suda. Okay, so next we're going to give her a Life Shroom. And a Cake Mix. It will give us a Sweet Shroom. Which stores 30 HP and 20 AP. Really good uh, HP and FP healing items. Okay, and finally for this recording session. Uh, we're going to give her a Honey Syrup. 
and an apple. And that will give us a tasty tonic. And I believe... Uh, yep. Yep, I got... Yep, that's, that's all the recipes I'm going to do for this recording session. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to... Before I end this, um, I think I'm actually... Well, actually, first of all, I'm, I'm going to sell a couple of these, I think. Um, now, these is, now, most of the recipes I get from Tasty, I've been, I've been selling them to, uh, to the shops here. Get some extra coins so I can buy the rest of the badges. And I got to buy some more stuff from Rip Cheeto, which I'm actually going to do here. Um, ooh, 50 coins for the sweet room. That's nice. And, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and give him the sweet room. Gives me, well, not close to 300 coins. Let's see if there's anything else here. Nope. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna go buy Rip Cheeto here. I'm actually gonna buy some more stuff from Rip Cheeto, so that's, uh, what I'm gonna do next. Uh, let me go back around. To that, we're gonna go in through the odd house. Um, and if I have enough coins left over, which I probably won't. Because um, you got to pay 64 coins each time. You have to pay him nine more times because they have. He only has not only three more star pieces, but also I think a couple of badges as well. So, so yeah, it's very important to, to uh, go to see that guy there. So, so yeah, I think the odd house. Where is the odd house? <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> what a surprise. But yeah, um, back to the recipe thing, um, there's actually, there's going to be a big long video, or videos, because I still got a bunch more recipes I have to go to uh, do, so. I mean, I've knocked out some, some in this video. Oh, house was right there, I'm a freaking idiot. I mean, we have some more uh, recipe items we got to do, I mean, a lot more left, so. So yeah, that's going to be a while, but uh. Okay, so 64 coins. Okay, we got another live stream. So, uh, so yeah, uh, wait a minute, do I actually have a super shroom? Because there's an item I couldn't get when I gave him a. Okay, I don't have a super shroom. I'll actually go get that recipe, uh, real quick after I get done in here. Okay, so. Okay, this one here is the Bump Attack Badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy in the field by hitting it. Okay, and then we have uh, Repel Gel, so that's good. That'll actually uh, come into handy. This offer is good right now. You'll be kicking some missed the opportunity. And, yep, another Star Piece. And that's all we can buy from Cheeto right now. And, uh, I should, hopefully I should have enough, because I still got some more badges to buy from Rolf and, of course, from this guy here. Uh, real quickly here, I'm actually going to, actually, no, I don't have enough coins to do it. Shoot. Or do I? There's actually a store up there that actually sells a super shroom. And it actually involves that last shroom here, so. Okay, I think it's not... 20 coins, I barely just have enough for this, so. Alright, so um, there's one more recipe I'm gonna do here. Now, let me find it on my list. Here. Okay, so I'm there on the page of it. Okay, so one more recipe. And uh, we should be good for this recording session. Okay, so a super shroom. And a live shroom. And it gives us, uh, you guessed it, another shroom steak. Okay, I'm going to cut right here for a minute. I'm going to meet you guys back at Luigi's Plate. At Mario and at the Mario Bros. So, Alright, here we are back at the Mario Bros. Place right here. Well, well, I'm going to switch to Goombario here. And, well, actually, you know what? Let's actually talk to Luigi. We haven't done that yet. So, now that we got this upgraded boots here. We're in Luigi's phone yet again. 
Boy, hanging up way up high it sure was nice. Such a great view and everything. Uh, never mind. Say, are those new boots? They look really flashy. Now you'll be a better jumper. Yeah, he already is a better jumper. But not often will compare will beat Luigi because he can actually what is that? He can actually stay in the air for a while. Okay, so we just now beat so we are now halfway done through the recipes. Um, we still got 14 Chuck Quizmo questions we need to answer. Let's see, uh, star pieces, um, we still have 25 star pieces left to go. Left to go, and for badges, uh, most of them will be bought from Rolf's place, and then of course will be in Chapter 7 as well. And with that, guys, I'm actually going to end this recording session. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recording session. Got lots, lots of stuff done, especially in the uh, in between chapter stuff in Toad Town. So, uh, so yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time for when we start chapter seven as we begin the quest to rescue the final Star Spirit. We're getting close. We're getting close, guys. So till then, this is Geeksquad16 signing out. Later.